Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Riddle Transfer 2. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. So apparently the story goes with this game. There was a little announcement at the beginning of this that apparently John O'Chrome, John, our, our man John Boy here, uh, made Riddle Transfer 2 a whole whopping five years after having made Riddle Transfer 1. So I'm interested to see you know how much the, the the style has improved already we can see that the background is very motion heavy we got the stars flying in out of nowhere there I'm a little concerned that there's a continue button I don't know how big this game is going to be but um, there's only one way to find out right completely useless isn't that how my master worded it is this a is this a diz oh they'll see They'll all see how much worth I have. Who is this? It's gotta be Diz, right? His master would have been like Viz. He, cause Diz left us. He, he ran away, he abandoned us. And apparently we're being shot at? They're shooting at children! <laughs> Come on now, how dangerous could we be? Well that's not good. Oh. This is the end. Oh, Riddle Transfer 2. Okay, so great. Yeah? And we're in. You was here. No, we still is here. Darn it, what is this? Scrap of paper. Woof. Is that gonna be like... Numbers, right? Like, 4003? Zero, zero, if you go like, right to left, kind of sideways? 4003? Four, four, zero, zero, Maybe. I think that might be it. There's a monitor here. 4003? Zero, zero, I'm so smart. It's a it's a good thing zone 5.1 security kind of bites. Riddle elementary coordinates, latitude, longitude, portal target coordinates, platitude, plongitude. Um platitude plot Okay, do I just need to make it 3977? Is that is that all I need? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a puzzle. I have to get it to Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait weren't we we were just wait. Mm, oh, almost there. Almost there. Yeah, there's the 39. And then the 77, if we just get up to... Oh, wait, wait. That was 78. So if we could just go down like that, and then like that. 79, almost there. Yep. 78's almost there. That's 77. Wait a minute. Oh, we need minus 77, not 79. Why did I think I needed 79? We need minus 77. Oh, there it was. Ah, uh, 39. So there, activate. Yeah, teleporter will be active when power is on. Excellent. So we need to make power happen. There's a circuit. There's a power box. It requires a key card. This looks like it needs a key card. Do I have one of those? Hint, hint. Oh, I do. I actually do. Is this a tutorial? This is the second time in a row I've conveniently had a machine powering doodad on hand. Is it? Is it the second time? I've got the power. Turned on. Great. Excellent. Circuit box. We're already being immediately annihilated by uh, puzzles. What, what am I doing here? Oh, we got to click. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Do we need to connect? We need to connect these things together. I'm certain of it. I'm sure we, there that that's that's doing something so far. Hey, that's that's uh, something something something's happening. Wait, oh, there's power on the left and power. On the, oh, I bet we need. Oh, I understand. Oh, I understand. I've got a straight one, so that's connected. Although there's nothing actually lighting up. This one isn't quite connected, however. So it's not quite what we require. It's not. Mm. Ah, there it is. I, was, I knew we were almost there. We were like so close. Uh, map is unavailable, by the way. Oh, the portal! It's on! There's a portal going in! I'm going into the portal, into the colorful portal, into apparently uh, uh, Riddle Elementary. Why? How did Zach have a newspaper and why? Where did you pick that up, Zach? Where did you get a newspaper? What is happening? Earth is flat. That was my first thumbnail. John Bro. Trash. Sent in by Oscar. Okay. Cause we're not going back in time. Cause in like Riddle School Five, there was like kind. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, back in time, but it was like a simulation thing. So who's ready to repeat an entire decade of school? No, absolutely not. Let's let's not re completely repeat. I was born. Re I was reborn. Ready. Reborn. Wait, what? There goes my rhetorical question. A Ms. Coffee. Hey, Miss Coffee. Class, why have you been absent for the past several days? Uh, we were abducted by aliens. This is a true story. Then we got kidnapped by secret agents. We had to use a teleporter to get back to class. Yeah, yeah, I've heard those before, so what really happened? 
Why couldn't we have been in a more convincing sounding double abduction? Well, I've made sure you have time to do your makeup work. I've decided I'm not going to be having a quiz this week. Actually, I believe you are. Oh, what are these people? Oh, no, this was the guy. It wasn't Diz. This, I, you, I am, I am Quiz. The new face of Vision. What? Why? Oh, I remember. You were the one with the blue text in that one cutscene. I don't remember that at all. Or, or, are we not? Oh, wait. You mean when they were talking to each other? I remember that now. When they were talking, we never saw his face though. We, he was just literally the blue text. I remember that now. Hey, Egghead, thanks for rubbing out my boss. Now I've inherited his throne. <laughs> I am become Quiz, judge of all worlds, and headmaster of this silly building. I guess stopping cliche vi supervillains is my life now. I'd like to see you try that, Egghead. I won't be the pushover that Viz was. Ta-ta, Worms. But why? To what end? For what purpose? For what reason? Do we still have to do that makeup work, Ms. Coffee? What are the- are these guns? Futuristic guns! Boy, Quiz and his minions made some fast modica modifications to the school. So is this literally- we just have to escape the school? Completely forget about the men in black, completely forget about the abduction, forget about Viz, forget about Diz, we're just trapped in a school run by a crazy alien that wants to... quiz us, probably? Okay! I remember this picture and its outrageously oversized signature. What kind of name is John Bro anyway? He should consider a name change. I wonder why he changed his name, because he went from John Bro to John Chrome. And I don't... I don't think John Bro was terrible in any way like I don't think it was any better or worse than John O'Chrome there's nothing wrong with John O'Chrome but I wonder why he changed his name that answer is probably out there somewhere he's probably explained it somewhere on the internet but I haven't looked for it this school's windows can't be broken believe me I've tried it was tricky to reach but scouring the trash can you a light tan paper bag oh it looks like a mask to me can I wear it come on I'd never talk to myself talk to yourself I just wanted you to wear a bag on your face how are you holding up, Smiley? I haven't found a reason to smile about this situation yet. I'm glad we're both doing fantastic. I try burning my way out of this building, but that's too much property damage to pay for. Hey, Fred, is there anything around your desk that seems useful? There's a green backpack on the floor here. I'm sure nobody's using it. I hereby confiscate this backpack for science. Great, we have a backpack. Can I open it? No, but I do have a backpack now. Is there anything I can do with the desks themselves? No. All right, well, we've looked at the guns. Ms. Coffee, anything that you would like to say? So, Ms. Coffee, what do you think about all this? Yeah, I could really go for a cup of coffee. Or six dozen, knowing you. <sighs> coffee. Uh, I don't see anything else to do. Can I just leave? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be yelled at, right? Oh! Okay, what if we put the pet bag on the backpack and make a fake version of me? Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. We're so smart. We're so smart and powerful. I'm just gonna leave, I guess? Yeah, no, she does, she's not gonna stop us. She doesn't care. Is there a water fountain? Just, just running water, you know, like you do. I'm fairly certain it's not 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. You don't know that. I guess it could be ham, though. No. No, I'm not doing it again. I'm not I'm not spending any more nights at Flumpty's. Unlocked locker? Ooh, a math book. It's an exceedingly long division book. My opinion on this is very divided. Alright, sure. Yeah, no, I'll buy that. I'll let I'll let that pun slide. I'll let that go. I'll let that go. I don't I don't I don't you know what? I don't have to have a problem with it. It's a small map. It's not a crazy long map, but I will go left first because left is always right. There's some exit doors. Oddly enough, the doors are unlocked. But I'm not leaving. Not this time. I need to have a chat with our new headmaster, who is probably in the principal's office. Oh, I see how it is. No sign. You exit! Special class for the insane? I'm curious, does the insane on that sign refer to the students or the teachers? Mr. Cam? Com? Cam-com? I don't know. 
Uh, this guy looks terrified. Hey, Richie. There's an outlet here. It's just an outlet, not a creative outlet. Staring at these cracks gets me nostalgic and a bit disappointed they're still here. Uh, 42 divided by 0 equals 241543903. Well, besides being exceedingly false, I wonder if I need to remember that number. I could write it down. There, I wrote it down just in case I need it. Uh, can I talk to you though, Richie? Richie, it feels like I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, hi, have we met? You don't remember stopping me in the hallway before I showed you my hall pass? Oh my god, that was a long time ago. Of course not, who'd remember something as small as that? In that case, let's start over. Hi, nice to meet you, my name's Phil Eggtree. That's probably the dumbest name I've ever heard. Well, we're off to a good start. How's life, besides being unable to leave your desk without getting shot? My teachers didn't like me ditching my post as a hall monitor, so now I'm in a special class. I don't even have a smart teacher. I'm getting out of this school as soon as I can. Richie, you've got a lot to learn. <laughs> Do you collect buttons, per chance? What kind of dork collects buttons? And what kind of dork says per chance? Call it a hunch, but I bet you'll change your mind by the time we're in high school. <laughs> oh, is he also in the high school one collecting buttons? I don't remember the names of any of the other side characters besides, like, the other three that we left in the other room. This school is under control of an alien bent on world domination. Any ideas? Well, I can't get out of here if there is an evil mastermind running the building, so... Uh, mastermind is giving him too much credit. Hmm. All I've got is some Elmo's glue. I'll take it, Elmo's glue. Okay, sure. Whoa, dude. I'm not just gonna give you the only thing I remembered to bring to school. One dollar. Then I'll trust you. Money, the root of all inconvenience. Breadcrumbs and beaver spit. You're so random, man. Alright, goodbye. Um, see ya. Alright, great, so we need to bring you a dollar. I've got some chewing gum that I'm just gonna pull off of the, off the desk there. Those are some futuristic guns. Hello, class, today's lesson is don't get up or you'll be shot. I mean, that's terrifying. This room would have 100 windows if it had 98 more windows. This is true. That is some fast math. It checks out. It tracks all the way to, to, to math town. It definitely does. There's some, what is this? Why? Why is there greenness on the floor? Janitor's class, is there a janitor in here? No, there's a broom. Brooms really sweep me off my feet. Literally, it's quite painful actually. That's unfortunate. The end of a mop could almost be a pom-pom. A mop mop? A bucket, bucket get. Bucket get, achievement get, bucket get. Bucket achievement get? We've got a bathroom. I'm still checking the lockers. We've got a men's bathroom. Can I take that hand soap? Yeah, baby. A vanity area. The sinks don't work, but at least they look nice. Uh, this definitely looks looks far more improved over the last time we saw like what the sink looked like. It actually makes vaguely more sense to look at now. Vaguely. The design is weird, but makes more sense. The sinks don't work. Okay, yeah, great. Uh, five was not here. Orange are my fav Kohler. I heart no gaudy. Oh, I guess that is a B. It looked like a G, nobody. I'm pretty sure there's not even a toilet in that stall, so the inside of it is uh, very messy. Oh, God. That stall seems to still be untouched, even by alien hands. Oh, my God. It survived even after all this time? Uh, can I go into the women's? <gasps> I'm not looking forward to this. Are we gonna go in after, for the first time in forever? But desperate times call for desperate measures. It's gonna be like amazing in there. It's gonna be spotless. Or maybe it's gonna burn my eyes out. And it's gonna be like an elder scroll. Wait, what? What the flaws, flaws what? What? Now see, this doesn't seem right to me because when we were in Riddle Transfer 1, and we were talking to Smiley, and, and we said, oh wow, your, uh, your, your uh, room looks really nice or whatever. And she was like, oh, it just looks like an ordinary girl's bathroom. And I made the whole comment that we wouldn't know what that looks like because the games never let us in the girls' bathrooms. So according to Smiley, this, sh like, this should not look like this. Insert light-related pun here. Uh, gumball machine? It's, it's a gumball machine. Nani? The lid on this gumball machine is jammed shut. I wonder if I can grease it up a bit with a with the hand soap, maybe. The gumball slipped out quite nicely with the lubricant. 
great, I'm gonna grab some gumballs. Sure, I'll take one, can you take another? I've never been in a women's room before today. No, he hasn't. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is not what most of them look like. I'm, I'm about sure, I'm about just as sure as you are that that is not the case. Gonna chew the gumball? I don't know why I'd want to. I already have some used chewed gum and I don't know what to use it on, but I have it. Great, moving onward. Oh, lasers. Excellent, I do love me some lasers. The sign reads, any human DNA detected passing through the red lasers will be shot. Oh, human DNA, but what about Magic Man Mode DNA? <laughs> Uh, this school has seven students and more than 50 lockers. No sanity. Not sure what I was thinking when I made this poster. There are more than seven students here. Well, maybe not while Quiz is in command of the building, but usually. <laughs> uh, can we chuck the gum at it? I don't like the way that gum is looking at me, undressing me with its scope. What? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna throw the gumball at it to like, I'm trying to like get it to like stick up. Maybe I gotta do something with the power. Um, Cause I was thinking maybe if I could like throw the gumball or whatever into its like, um, its barrel. Barrel's the word I'm looking for. Into its barrel, I wouldn't be able to shoot anything. There's an electrical box. With this wall of lasers in the way, I can't reach that electrical box. No, you can't. So am I supposed to like bucket? Something tells me these lasers aren't for printing. For what? For printing? Oh, like a laser printer. Oh, I get it. Well, I was thinking... We, I, I was thinking we... I was thinking we could do something? I suppose we might be able to fill the bucket with water. Oh, uh, not here, though. With the fountain, maybe? Back over here at the fountain. Turn that on and then put the bucket. Bucket! Bucket wet! Bucket get! Bucket wet! And then if we can use the wet bucket on the electrical box? I mean, that seems, I thought that checked out, right? I think, well, I think that would have checked out. Maybe I need to make it soapy. Put the soap in there. Gotta have a bucket of soapy wet. Oh, I can put, oh, I can boil the water over Zach's head and let me know if this is awkward. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, don't worry. It's definitely awkward. I have a bucket of boiling hot water. Why did I do? Why did I do? Can I can I do the lasers? I don't know why I did this. We don't have a coffee maker here, Dread. How else can you make coffee? I think I could conjure up a hot liquid that tastes like coffee. I've got a bucket of boiling water, but it doesn't taste like coffee. Do I need a coffee bean? Do I need a coffee bean? How do I make coffee out of coffee bean? I've got a used chewing, oh, it's the used chewing gum on the electrical box because it's got human DNA in it. Oh, but of course, gun meat gum. Here we go. Oh my God, that took that took too long, guys. That took me too long to figure out. I was on to the right track. I knew something needed to go to the electrical box, but I thought we needed to like get it wet or something to blow it up ourselves that way. I didn't think of it shooting itself. I've seen better days. Wait, never mind. It's only been around one day. Okay, great. We can move on. Oh my god, you're here. Hey, chub. Hmm? I like fat jokes, but I'm sorry for calling you a fatty. That was out of line. Oh, what a bunch of... What, 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 what character growth? What character development? Oh, yeah, you should be sorry for that one. It wasn't witty. You could come up with better material than that, bald eagle. I like the way you think, earthquake generator. <laughs> now that's better. So anything new with you? Well, I don't mind being obese, except for the part where it's really unhealthy. So I'm kind of on the fence about whether I should stay like this or lose some weight. Just don't break the fence while you're sitting on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but seriously, you'd probably feel better if you lost a few pounds. Uh, could you maybe scooch over a bit? I'd like to, but I can't move. I'm only here because some aliens set me in front of the door. Usually I can't get myself to move without a sugary energy boost like a cookie. Oh yeah, I'm also sorry I misled you into thinking the cookie machine wasn't broken. We all make mistakes. I don't have a use for this dollar, so you can have it back now. If I find any cookies lying around, I'll let you know. Uh, well we have our dollar. Did you hear that the school has been overtaken by a fat blue alien creature? That Claude, there's only room for one fat guy around here and that's me! Okay, at least you're proud, I guess. Breadcrumbs and beaver spit, spit. 
Sounds delicious. It does not. All right, we'll see you round. Huh, you see me very round. Wow. Wow, self-deprecation. All right, well, let's give you the dollar. I have a dollar that says I can stop this alien takeover with your help. All right, I'll trade you my glue stick. Take care of it. No worries, this glue stick and I will stick together like glue. Please never say that again. I'm gonna stick to you like glue. I'm gonna stick to you like Sean Paul and glue. All right, well, I've got a stick of glue. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I don't think I can combine it with... Unless it's coffee tasting, I don't know why I need that. Fire hydrant, it looks convincing, but that fire hydrant is actually just made of foam. Well, that's not helpful at all, and foam catches fire. It's flammable, well, that doesn't look good. How about these exit doors? Huh, all the boards and barbed wire that used to be on these doors were taken off. Now they're just locked, like normal doors. Exit. Great, awesome, let's go into the cafeteria, I guess. Hopefully we can find a coffee bean. Coffee grounds, yeah! I think I'll carry around these stray coffee grounds because why not? Also, where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Coffee ground Joe. Infamous mustard smudge. I'm still not sure why I got in trouble for making fun of Smiley with this. She actually found it funny because it's, it, it barely qualifies as a smiley face. Only barely, it's like, Maybe smug. Maybe, but probably not. Heck if I know. That stain looks like either liquid spinach or vomited interior paint. One or the other. Nothing in between. Blueberry wet aid. Nice, the wet aid stain hasn't been cleaned up. It was always my favorite. Uh, uh, useless blueprints are the most fun filled blueprints for the whole family. Cookie machine. The cookie machine's still broken. Death will become us all. <laughs> I, I say that sometimes. Sometimes I say, I, except I say, death becomes us. Death becomes us. Death becomes us. I'm gonna put the coffee grounds in here. We've got a bucket of coffee now. A big old bucky of coffee. There you go, Miss Coffee. We got a bucket of the stuff. Just one, just, just in one go. Just chug it down. Don't stop. Oh, she became a helicopter. What do we do with that? What do we do with that now? Do I talk to her? I have no idea how Ms. Coffee's hand does that, but this room just became a laceration hazard. Do I throw something into it? Do I like, the book? Like, you know, like to like chop something up, I guess? The, the gumball? Well, what do I, what was the point of all that? I truly do not know. I truly do not know why I've done this. I don't know. Where can I even go? Where am I even trying to be right now? Oh yeah, I've gotta move you. Balls. Uh, I've got a gumball. Do you want the gum- Oh, he wants the gumball. He'll take the gumball. I mean, a gumball's kind of sugary. Hey! Oh, and he's gone. I don't, I thought that must have been a real sugary gumball. Oh, he left footprints. Where did he go? Can I follow him? Can I find out? Do you think he went to the bathroom? That'd be amazing if he was in a bathroom somewhere. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta find out if he went somewhere, right? Is he in the closet? You'd think he would have maybe gone to the cafeteria, right? And then they would have made some joke about him being in the cafeteria. That's what you would have thought, right? No, he's not there. He's just gone. He's vacated the premises. He's just... Oh! Hey there, buddy! You look like you're half a person. You look like you're missing half your body. What? This side left. I don't think it is. Someone must have put this box down right here, then up and left the room? Box office? Or 30x office, whichever you prefer. There's some eye drops? I see you eyeing my eye drops. Lay off if you know it's good for ya. I don't know what's good for me. Can I put soap in your eye? Hello. How did you? What's your name? Oop, I didn't click on that one. He told me you didn't want to speak with him and I take his word over yours. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fair. Of course. What did I say? Oh, I need to speak with your master. I meant to click on this one. What's your name? I'm, uh, Nitwit. My mom and pop thought it sounded intelligent. May I have your eye drops? Oi, it ain't easy having no eyelid. Eye drops keep me comfortable. I mean, I can function just fine with a dry eye, but it gets irritating. Does your eye feel dry right now? Now that you mention it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to moisten it up. Okay. What if we put soap in it? I can't put anything there while I have an audience. That's a good point. We have to distract him. Hey, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pass every class at your school on day one and beat you at chess at the same time. Hate to tell you, but you're in the way of the principal's office. 
Of course I'm in the way, dummy. The headmaster's right through this door. You mean quiz? Obviously I mean qu- Uh, no. Then I guess I'll just have to sneak, uh, uh, look elsewhere. What? Am I not supposed to know that quiz is in there? Bread crumbs and beaver spit. Is that an inside joke I'm unaware of? I gotta be honest, I'm not even sure. Toodle do. Can I give you the book? I bet you can't solve the math equations in this feeble earthling textbook. You think I'm dumb, do you? Oh, it's on. Great, that, that'll take him a while. There you go. There you go, buddy. I have your industrial eyedropper now. Can I put glue in it? No. Can I talk to you? These problems are child's play. Want your book back? Yes, your intellect is truly superior. I'm ready for your silly human math any day of the week. But are you ready to uh, moisten up? How's your eye feel right now? Well, it does feel a little dry, but there's clearly a soap container where my eye drops used to be. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, do I need to combine them? I need to put the hand soap in the... I'm not going to put anything in this eye drops thing. I'll need to find a way to open it. Oh, open it. Oh, it needs to be opened? Oh, I know how I open it. It's Miss Coffee. <laughs> I'm dumb. I gotta go over here and do this, apparently. Zzz. Beautiful. Apparently that worked. Apparently that worked. Well done, us. There we go. He didn't even notice that we left. Now I need to find a way to stick the two parts of this container back together. That's what the glue is for. Hey, I drop her full of soap. There you go. Give me that book back. Yeah, I do absolutely want that back. How's your eyeball feeling now? <laughs> How does your dry eye feel right about now? Oh boy, that's gonna suck. Oh, look at his face! Poor guy. Poor guy. Soap in the eye would suck, though. For real, though. Hey, Quiz. I've solved your thing. I'm, I'm standing on your desk. You haven't even noticed me yet. How did you get in here? Through the door. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really good. That's good. I like that. Dude, I'm busy, like, dominating your entire stupid planet. You call putting some turrets in an elementary school dominating the planet? This conversation is over. If you're our new headmaster, maybe it's about time you did something educational. Quiz, I'd like to propose a quiz. A what? I'll ask you some questions, and you don't have to answer them for me. You don't have to answer them for me? Just give me a few answers to choose from, and I'll take a guess which is right. Well, that seems fine. After all, you humans are all bad at multiple choice. You'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. Hey, it's not his fault he has no longer- he has longer running legs than my friends and I do. Question one. I still blame Diz. I, I, this, this, this has not taken a turn that I expected at all. This game has not been what I was expecting. Vision was a project dedicated to destroying every planet with an evil population. Now tell me, after Viz's death, who was the first subordinate eligible to take his place? Who was the first individual in Viz's line of succession? I thought it was Diz. Am I wrong about that? Or maybe it was Quiz. Maybe it was Quiz. Well, of course I was Viz's first choice. I'm in charge now. Hmm, we'll see about that. Question two, what was Viz's opinion of you? Uh, hmm. I don't remember, that was, what was Viz's, uh, AKA me, of Quiz? Useless, right? Useless? What do you mean, useless? I heard it with my own invisible ears, Quiz, back when I was just waking up from a long dream. Quiz, you're completely useless. Why, you? Question three. Oh, that first question with who the second person in line was. Maybe it wasn't Quiz, but Quiz thinks it was Quiz. Oh, I should have picked something else. I think it might have been Diz. Or maybe it was Nitwit, who knows? How many of Viz's lackeys did he allow to use his data and technology regarding Vision? How many minions tied to Vision did Viz 
let access his data and technology for the project. Nobody? Nobody? Ha! Huh. Obviously you told me because I wouldn't be the new world conqueror otherwise. Intriguing. Question four. You said a minute ago you'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. How could you have known about that? Wait, what? Can I skip this one? Use your paper. <laughs> How did I quiz know about Diz running off and leaving you and your friends for dead? Oh. Oh, interesting. Did he see it or was he told? Because if, if it's he told me, that means Viz is still around. Yeah, duh, he told me when he, uh... Very convincing response. Let's try that one again. Yeah, duh, he told me when he, uh... I don't know, I'm confused. I saw it? Explain, Q. I, uh... And now for the final question. Zone 5.1, the place where my friends and I were trapped. Who owns that place? Is it vision? I guess this quiz just became fill in the blank. What? Did this game just go cerebral on me? Here's what I believe is the whole story. Did this game just go psychological on me? Was Zone 5.1 actually a part of Viz's plan? Like some grant, like we, we, we never left the simulation? The three leading figures of vision were Viz, Diz, and you quiz. Diz was second in command. Oh, I knew it was Diz. I knew it was. You were third because Viz considered you a useless underling. As such, Viz only shared the nitty gritty details of his plans with Diz. So when Viz was cut, cut out of the picture. Oh, wait. So wait, is. Oh, wait. Is Diz in charge? In that moment, Diz was technically in charge of the fate of Vision. But if Diz decided to put an end to the project, you would never inherit the powerful top spot. You needed to eliminate Diz fast, but not without learning all the project's secrets. That's where Zone 5.1 comes in. Oh, because they were taking all that information from Diz. That's right, at the very end. I, I remember that. Zone 5.1 has a machine that can read minds and translate it into data. If you could get Diz in that machine, you could extract all the necessary data and keep Diz at bay. So you signaled Zone 5.1 with Diz's whereabouts and killed two birds with one stone. This was an easy task because Vision owns Zone 5.1. Television. Oh. The place even uses Vision's TV screens. There must have been years of studies done before the project determined Earth to be evil. Zone 5.1 isn't just a place to research rare animals. It's a t testing ground where Viz observed humans. But one thing got in the way of your plan to steal Diz's newly inherited throne. Me. The machine never got all the data you needed to reign over the cosmos. And now you're here, hopelessly lost in your quest to be a true leader. It's true. I'm no leader. I even let you walk all over me with that whole quizzing idea. There's still time to do what's right, Quiz. Just let my friends and this school free. You're right. You humans can be smarter and wiser than I gave you credit for. Clicks a button, we all blow up and die. All security measures are now offline. Is that gonna be it? After I return to my home base, I'll put an end to this vision nonsense myself. You've opened my eyes. It is up to the civili civilizations of the universe to judge themselves. Thank you, Egghead. Sorry, Eggtree. Phil Eggtree. Stay classy, Quiz. Go and make peace like a true leader. Could that be? Oh no. 
I knew it. I knew Diz was gonna turn out to be evil. Joy of joys, this doomsday device can use ice from comets as fuel! Finally, nothing is in my way, not this, not quiz, not those meddling kids. Now, vision is my vision. No more beating around the bush with that judge the planet's garbage. Just pure, cathartic destruction of all civilizations in sight. Diz is up there. It must be him. Take me up there in your ship, Quiz. I will do what I have to do to stop him. Does this mean you have a plan? No, absolutely not. No, I've got nothing. But we have no choice but to try! You're right. I'll take you closer to the light. Be but before I go... Smiley? I used to tease you a lot because I didn't understand you. But now I realize you're a true role model for me. And you have a beautiful smile. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just just throw in just 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 a little bit of a budding romance right there at the end just before we all die. <laughs> I've never tried to use this shuttle for combat before, so... Uh... You know, it's up to you to find something we can use to fight that ship. <laughs> uh, I have soap. I, I, I have soap. From the pan- oh, what is this? Can I open this keyhole? I'm not getting whatever's in this panel unless I find a key, I guess. Do I need to find a key? Okay, can I go about- the there's an escape pod. Uh, there's a- whatever this is. Uh, oh boy. There's some compartment- red compartment. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, there's three to go through? Oh boy. We're gonna be at this for a while, aren't we? Oh, they're all green. Yeah! I did the thing. I did the thing. I think we're good. I think we just leave. Cool. Is it open? Oh, it's got a little- it's got a little thingy next to it. Great, 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 great. Green compartment. Oh, this should, this should, this should be easy. This shouldn't be so bad. I, oh, Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're, they are connected to different things, but this still shouldn't be too bad. Uh, except that this is not... Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, look at that! It's Diz! It's Diz's face! Hey, I, I told you that wouldn't be bad. There was I can do. What is this? What, what is this? Oh, is that Quiz's face? It's Quiz's face. It's Quiz's face. I see it. Look at this. Now we just have to kind of like... Flop everything. The only issue we have now... You can see it. Oh, this just needs to go... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I was afraid we were gonna have to like really finagle. But we should have all the red... All the, all of that's good. Uh, this the escape pod... Abandoning the ship isn't going to help save the planet. It is not. You're, you're absolutely right. How do I open... I've done the things, I think? Question mark? Do I have to hit the little buttons? Escape pod. Yeah, I guess it's good that the pod is clearly labeled if we need it. Okay, yeah, I guess that's great. Do I open these? Do I... What... What am I... What's this supposed to be? A, B, C, D, E, F, clear, enter. I don't think I know the code. I don't think I know the code, unless it's like... Beef. <laughs> I can't do a ham. Wait a minute. E A C E A C A E A C A E C E A. See how it was like flashing? E A C A. Oh, E A C C A. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Hang on. E A C C A. E A C C A. Hey, and we've got the key. Yes. Why did we do these? Does a key go in any of these? I don't know what any of that did, but I have a key. Key. Self-destruct? I don't know about that. We have... What is... What? Is that it? No, it can't be. I would have thought you had some ammunition in this fancy spacecraft. Isn't there something else? Well, I didn't have to come up here with you. Take the escape pod. B but there's only room for one of us in that escape pod, Phil. The clock is ticking. 
I will finish this. What? <laughs> Go and be with your friends on Earth. What? <laughs> Star Wars Episode Eight? Is that how this is gonna be? <laughs> did Did John O'Krum just predict Star Wars Episode Eight? I think so. I think that's what happened. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm saying. I like didn't even barely do anything. I just solved some puzzles. Oh. Oh, he smiled. <laughs> he smiled. Photo album? Don't mind if we do. I like to look at photos, specifically albums of them. Ah, that's the credits. Created by John O'Krum, aka John Bro. Don't know why you changed your name, but it's okay. <laughs> Originally inspired by Pico's School, which I guess we're gonna have to play at some point. We're gonna have to play Pico's School at some point. Music by Pepsilio, Waterflame, KFNX, uh, Anchorwind, Halo God 35, Tecmo X, and I couldn't read the others fast enough. Big thanks to the Diamond Minecraft, Jack Septicai, Cinnamon Toast Ken, Risk Rim, and other YouTubers. It means a whole lot to me to see Riddle School on your. Oh, they must have played the games. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks to Scott Cawthon for inspiring a change in my outlook on life and creativity. And to Telltale Games for keeping the point and click genre alive with amazing games. Oh my god. It kind of really sinks in for me reading that because this came out in 2016, I think it was. Which, like I say, uh, came five years after the original Riddle Transfer, which must have come out in like 2011-ish, right? And 2016, I was definitely on the platform and making videos and paying attention to, you know, sort of things that people were doing. So it's kind of funny to just to see the references to uh, other... YouTubers and, and and Scott Cawthon, of course, FNAF, I guess, was a thing by then. So it's weird having played the older games on this, and they felt so old. But then this one feels so much more recent to me, even though it is still like four years old or what. Happy tenth anniversary, Riddle School. So I guess Riddle School, the first one must have come out in two thousand six ish. Dude, man, dude, that was a trip through time, quite a bit. Oh, oh! They would. They couldn't be that old by this point, though. They couldn't be that old. I mean, what year would? It, so, like, if they were like in elementary school in two thousand six, I mean, did that photo get taken in two thousand sixty six? You know. Re uh, pl be kind. Please rewind. What was that all about? Oh. We did the thing. What happens if you click continue, though? Choose a point from which you'd like to... Oh, you can just choose. You can just choose what section you'd like to go into the very beginning, after the beginning, at the quiz part, or I guess the very ending and do that part. I see. Neat. What kind of special features do they have? Introspective, retrospective, a lot can change in a person's mind in five years or ten years, and it's worth reflecting. Progress log, Riddle Transfer 2, and Riddle School 2 had the same development time of two weeks. Two weeks?! He made this in like two weeks, which apparently he uh, the first time he tried to make Riddle Transfer 2, he scrapped the project. So I don't know what the original Riddle Transfer 2 was going to look like before he scrapped it and made this one instead. Uh, play Noodles RS1 Remake. Graham Nordell, formerly Goatman. Oh, is that the guy that was referenced in, in uh, Riddle's Transfer? The Goatman or something like that? Remade Riddle School on his own time. Check it out. Okay. Wow. If it's a complete remake, uh, then I'm all right. But, uh... Yeah, if you guys would like to check out those special features for yourself, go give the game a play. There's a link down in the description. Uh, go beat the game yourself. You've got this stuff to, that you can go check out. Uh, this episode has gone on long enough, so I'm going to stop it there and not, not, not put this in the episode. But if you want to check it out for yourself, go play it for yourself. That, I mean, that helps support John Chrome if he's still paying attention to the numbers of, of his riddle, riddle school games. Um, but yeah, go check that stuff out. I, I might I might peruse these. I might peruse these on my own time. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do all the things. And until next time, wash your hands. Okay, bye.